every day you hear issues about corruption in the land sector, where people have been unfairly treated, where people have been shortchanged, where people's land have been taken away from them because someone had duped them in selling a land that did not belong to them in the first place. Because statutory authorities do not operate a fair system of administration in the land sector, where we still have customary and traditional practices that do not allow women to assess land rights. You find different people buying the same piece of land and having the documentation to, to show ownership. Political parties that are in control, they parcel out land to only those people who pledge to support them when election time comes. The extreme case has been that of women being forced to extort trade sex to get a piece of land even within the urban setting. Massive land grabbing in uh, some areas of the country. Takings of community land by large-scale land-based investments without any consultation with communities. The investors, you know, would have uh, um, some kind of arrangement with maybe the traditional authorities like the chiefs or even, you know, um, officials from the Ministry of Land that are on the ground. Displaced people are not properly compensated. Actually, in the negotiation arrangements, you have people colluding. When companies come, they take over the land, they pollute the river, and so most people are left without um, sources of livelihood. People don't, don't know uh, wh what is the law and uh, where to go when, when, sh uh, when they have a problem. People out there do not really know how to go about acquiring land and as a result of that they engage the services of people that we refer to as middlemen and those are the ones that do perpetrate um, corruption because they most of the time exploit people. It is very easy for them to be duped into unscrupulous land deals and maybe even be deceived and as a result of course they will be victims of land corruption. Bribery really manifests due to lack of proper enforcement and lack of adequate laws as well as uh, due to lack of information people tend to bribe. Most of the land that is being acquired are not um, properly registered and as a result of that, you see every day um, there's a conflict between individuals. You know, one um, claiming to, um, maybe two or three people claiming to own a piece of land. And there's nothing to show that is very much tangible that you are the rightful owner of that piece of land. Well, the first thing was to invest in research, document, understand who are the actors benefiting from, from land corruption. We have the, what we call the land rights um, open days as one of the activities that we take to the various communities. This platform um, engage with communities on land related matters. They also receive um, complaints you know, from the community people and then we did capacity building training for them on land and corruption issues, um, on advocacy and also on monitoring. We sensitize also the women that they have a right to have a land because the cultural thinking is that the women don't have a right to the land. So we trained a selected number of people on the various land laws, the land rights, and exactly the dispute resolution mechanisms. This was the entry point and the starting point. We were able to train them on various ways through public forums, talk about land law, talk about the land rights, talk about land corruption in very simplified ways. Working together with the chief, as well as with his administration, the, the traditional leaders and whatnot, put up a guideline that has to be followed in the chiefdom so that people are, are very clear on what processes they are supposed to take if they want to acquire land so that such instances of bribery and extortion are not encountered. The 
most significant change that Ghana Integrity Initiative achieved in our intervention is helping these community members assess justice, get fair compensation, get fair negotiation process, and get recognition from the land, the, the investor, and then from the local authorities. TI Zimbabwe has been sustaining a narrative about land corruption and for, 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 for some years government was not responsive but for the first time now government has chosen to respond and they set up a commission to investigate issues of land corruption within the urban setting. People are now aware of land in relation to corruption and also processes you know that involve in land acquisition. We've seen many women coming up to say as a result of the information you gave me, as a result of the empowerment that you gave me, I've been able to reclaim what belongs to me. The Ministry of Lands has now commenced, you know, the, the surveying and registration of lands within um, Kono District. So we think this um, is a great uh, um, impact of what we've been doing because this will go a long way, you know, in addressing the issues of conflict with regards land. Our cause has not yet been met. We've not yet reached where we want to be. We want to see a society that is free of land corruption and this hasn't yet been achieved. So it is very important for TI as a movement to continue dialogue, to continue advocacy, to continue monitoring incidences of land corruption. If we are to curb uh, illicit financial flaws, if we are to curb money laundering, uh, we need to look at land corruption because of its rising value and the pressure that land has. People have this massive pressure on land and its intersected relatedness to issues like climate change, for instance, uh, land and the new urban agenda, the aspect of smart cities. So land is a key prime resources and we need to protect it from uh, elements of corruption. Land corruption affects everyone, especially the poor, our women and the most vulnerable groups. Empowering communities is a starting point towards tackling land corruption in Africa. Inadequate information among the communities breeds land corruption. Let's share information with them so that they demand for what belongs to them. Land corruption is a complex problem but with the right intervention, it can be contained.